how to create Wix website for selling ebooks. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a Wix website uh, or a Wix store for selling ebooks and the process is going to be very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Wix.com then you are going to sign in for an account. If you are uh, here used to use Wix, you can go ahead and see that when you sign in, you are going to see the site's dashboard for the website that you have created. If not, you're going to uh, see this page uh, directly after you have signed up with your account. So we are going to have here two choices. Either use uh, Wix Studio, which is going to be a professional website uh, creator or we can use the normal or the standard Wix editor. So we are going to get here a choice between two. So I'm going to choose the normal one. If you are going to have here some uh, or want to see some tutorials about how we can use Wix Studio, we can go ahead and head over our channel and search for the Wix Studio tutorials. We have tons of them. So aside from that, we are going to click on here. So here we are going to get the help of or the suggestion for help from Wix ADI, which is going to be the abbreviation of artificial design intelligence. And that is going to help us create a website in a shorter duration of time. That means that you are going to, uh, let's say here, uh, set up the website by answering some few questions from the AI that will, let's say here, uh, ask you for. So this process is going to be much easier here set up and automated or fully automated. And if you are going to or not use it, you can go ahead and click on setup without the chat. So basically we are going to use the second method, which is going to be set up without the chat because the AI is going to be here self helpful. So you are going to get help and you do not basically need uh, the tutorial for it. You can go ahead and customize your website how much as you want. If you have skipped the part for the use of the AI, you are going to get this page, which is going to be demanding the type of the website that you want to create. Basically, we are going to type in here uh, the ebook, for example, ebook store this is uh one thing so you're going to see, see all the types or the suggestion for ebook uh, as you can see here stores you're going to select one of them for example here we have marketing ebook ecom or e-commerce bookstore or whatever i'm going to select only ebook store click on continue and then we are going to get our dashboard prepared basically it is going to have here the uh, wix stores installed or pre-installed and that is a good thing. Now I'm going to wait here until this, as you can see, um, tab will show up because it is going to help us uh, set up the uh, different elements for our store. I'm going to start by typing the uh, store name. You can go ahead and skip all these steps for this tab, but I highly recommend for you to make them uh, or at least uh, respond to some of them because it is going to help you to skip all the annoying parts for going through the settings and set up everything manually. So as you can see here, we have start setting up your store. We are going to type in here, Jack, for example, library. Uh, we are going to uh, name it Jack ebook or ebooks library. So we are going to click on continue. Now the online presence, for example, if you are already uh, selling some items online you can go ahead and click on yes and then you're going to uh, here have the choice to either move your existing store to wix that means that you're going to upload or export the files or the products from a previous store to import them into wix if you are not going to tell them that you can go ahead and click i'm not just uh, i'm just starting out they can continue and you are going to put your uh, product manually so what kind of products are you going to be selling? Obviously, when it is uh, going to be ebooks, you can go ahead only and select for digital products. So, if you are going to use drop shipping or uh, drop shipping for ebooks, you can go ahead and set up these. But the shipping is not going to be included. So, I'm going to set up here services and digital products. 
the physical products, the dropshipping products, and the print-on-demand products are going to need a shipping method. And we do not want to create a shipping method. So we are going to click on continue with here. Now, how are you going to offer your product? Obviously, we are going to use online store. And here in person, I'm not going to sell them in person because we need the digital platform to sell them. So we are going to select marketplaces and social media such as Amazon, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And also my mobile app that will help me sell products and manage the store on the go. So I have these three choices ticked. Then we are going to click on continue. So everything is set and we are going to click on continue to the dashboard. Once you are on the dashboard, you need to set up your payment method. And this is a mandatory step. So you are going to click on settings. And then you're going to click on accept payment, which is going to be for the general settings. And here you are going to select the country that you are in or the country that will have the uh, most, let's say here, convenient payment method for you. So for example, we are going to type in United or the United Kingdom. For example, let's see here the United Kingdom. You're going to click on it, choose, and we are going to see a different payment method like here. So we are going to connect here uh, this one, for example, for accepting the Visa card, MasterCards, Amex, and Google Pay and Apple Pay. And also we can connect uh, here two payment methods at once, which is going to be a secondary uh, payment method like PayPal. And here also we have the manual payment, which is not going to be something that I am going to recommend for you. And if you want to see more, you can go ahead and click on uh, hear more, see more payment options, and you are going to see, for example, uh, here Klarna, we have Square, we have two squares, or one for the POS or point of sale, and one for the online payments, a clear pay, and etc. So, here, after you have set up the, uh, let's say not the shipping, but the payment methods, you're going to head over to the home. Make sure that you have on the catalog here this um, extended menu having the store products. That means that you can go ahead and click on here and add your product. So we are going to see here the type of the products that we have. Here we have some sample products or uh, let's say demonstration products that you are going to have here. You are going only to see physical products as demonstration. So either way, if you have chosen only uh, digital products uh, only or um, not chosen the physical product, you're going to have the choice to set up also the physical product. So here I'm going to let you see how we can add the digital product. So you're going to click on digital file. We're going to add the product. So you're going to upload the file. For example, here I'm going to give you an example here. I have this PDF file. So we are going to um, click on upload file here. Then you are going to set up the product info, such as the name of the product or the ebook and the description of it, and also the ribbon. So you are going to make it, that uh, product a little bit shiny. So you are going to either put a new release, for example, like that new release, or you can go ahead and add it as a ribbon, for example, or discounted or discount on this one. Here we have the description, go ahead and put a description. You can get the, uh, here the AI help to generate the description if you do not have one. And here we have the images and videos, which are going to be the illustrations for your file or the ebook. Then you are going to set up the price, the inventory and shipping. It is not going to be very here, uh, let's say important because we are going only to have a digital copy. So I'm going to discard the changes and then we are going to click on design site. Once you have clicked on here, you're going to get the two options for creating a website or the template. Either you are going to customize a template or generate a design with the AI. So I'm going to click on pick a template. And then as always on my video tutorials, I'm going to head over back and then we are going to select the generation of the AI websites. So as you can see here, we have some best matches and we have some recommended ones. This best match is going to be none of the question because it is going to be a camera store. Here we have the bookstore, as you can see, another bookstore. Here we have a writer, 
website for example and we have thousands not thousands but maybe tens or 20 uh, model for the book or ebook store so you can go ahead and view any website or template that you want from here for example here we have this one which is going to be a very let's say innovative and this is going to be something cool i gotta admit so you can go ahead and use this um, get this version it is going to be compatible for both desktop and also uh, the mobile version if you don't know or you do want uh, to create another one or choose another one you can go ahead and click on edit and right there you are going to get the uh, template here ready for you i'm going to be back here and we are going to choose the option for generate a design with the ai click on here and then we are going to get the generated version of ours this website is going to be normally unique for you so it is going to uh, be based on the prompt that you have put on the type of the website from the beginning and if you have chosen the wix adi which is going to be here at the ai creation of the dashboard it is going to have also the same thing so here you are going to see the site profile the site structure site description the theme and also the layout you can go ahead and modify each one of them and here as soon as the website is going to appear and the site brief is going to be a conclusion of the work of the ai generated website or template so each one of these items which is going to be these five are going to be clickable whenever the website is going to be generated and you can go ahead and modify each one of the items so as you can see here we have some dark colors bluish and these are not going to be very interesting for me so you can go ahead and click on the theme for example and change here i'm going to type in brighter theme so here we have dark design i'm going to type in bright design for example this is a tweak or you can go ahead and tell that this is uh, a prompt so you can go ahead and let the ai work on that it will um, change the colors the fonts and everything Basically, with that, you have created your own website or your personalized website using the Wix ADI solution. So we are going to wait for wait for the uh, ADI to respond to our uh, prompt right there, and we are going to see how it will look. So as you can see here, the uh, theme has been brightened and the colors has been changed, and this is a very cool, uh, let's say here, theme. So I'm going to exit that as you can see window and click on continue with this design and I'm going to click on continue to the editor and with that you are going to face up the uh, Wix editor and you can go ahead and modify your website publish it and also save the changement that you are going to implement in this. So it is going to be adding everything from the add-ons to uh, let's say here the apps and uh, something else like you have added the bookings or something like that. Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.